Hi guys, so this is the third video where we build our one page on Webflow. Today we are going to build the hero section, so let's go. Okay, so in the last video, we set up the free responsive on our page. So we can see that everything is scaling nicely. Um, and now we can finally start to uh, build our page. So let's delete that. Um, and yeah, let's start by building the, the header. So let's go to the home page. So let's add a section. Let's change its tag to header. Then I'm using a container. And then I'm using a last div. I'm going to call this one header wrapper. I have a link block. I'm going to call this one header um, logo wrapper. And then I have an image and I'm going to say header logo. So let's change the image. Let's check the size. So the width is 102. So I can do 102 divided by 16 REM. And yeah, we are good. Let's change our link. So it's to the home page. Uh, yeah, we'll see a bit later, but maybe we will change that to, you know, a section kind of link. Uh, since it's a one page, maybe it will make more sense. Uh, then let's add a text link and I'm going to call this one header nav link. What does it say? Shop now. Let's check the padding top at the same time. We have 30 pixels. And so I'm going to add a padding right there. 30 divided by 16. Let's do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, and we are good for our header. Uh, quite simple. Let's move on. So, let's add the main, uh, main wrapper. Inside that, I have a section. Then a container. Then it's my hero wrapper. Okay, so now I have my hero. So I think that the hero is going to be the... Not the hardest, but the... The most challenging section. Um, we will still use the column system, but we will have to use some absolute position, I think. Because right here we have... Um, actually, I don't think I need to do that, but... Uh, since we have this element overlapping over the image, uh, I think we will need to use the, the absolute position. So yeah, let's go. So let's say something like first let's say let's change our header let's by the way add a modifier section header and i want it to have an fixed position let's do that let's say that that maybe let's say absolute for the moment and we'll give it a fixed position after and i'm doing that because first i want my header to to scroll with me when i scroll the page but also because i want my hero wrapper to take a hundred view h uh, so yeah so i have my hero wrapper and then what i'm going to do is that i think i will create two divs one that is wrapping this and this and another one with this. 
I think it's the best way. So let's add a div. I'm going to call this one hero. Uh, how can I say that? Let's say hero row wrapper. And then I have my first. Oh, it's not a grid. It's a div, and I want a row. Then I want a call. And so we can see that we have two columns. We have two columns of three. So let's do that. And let's duplicate. Um, uh, let's add some padding to 50. So let's say 250. And by the way, um, I did not prepare this before, so I'm really building and thinking uh, as I'm as I'm uh, I'm building the page and I'm thinking about it as I'm doing it. So maybe the the way I'm doing it right now is not the best way, but um, I need to to do it first to realize that it's not the best way. Anyway, and so let's do something like that. Let's add a span, and I'm going to call this one hero aging. And I want to do something like um, hero. Let's create a modifier text italic. All right. And yeah, we can see that using the column system, it's really easy to create these kinds of, of layout. Um, and then I have an image. Uh, yeah, let's say EO image frapper. And then I have my image and it's hardware. This is hero image let's say a hundred percent width same thing for this and maybe if i give it a height of 100 percent and if i do something like that yeah it's working so that's cool and now i can create another div let's say hero row wrapper but this one this time I want to add a modifier and I want to say absolute um, no let's not do that um, how should I call this one because I have my image so the um, let's rename this let's call this one hero uh, let's call that title because it's not really an image it's more the, the title of the page or the heading but let's call this one title and then I can do something like div hero row wrapper and I'm going to say image and I'm going to give this an absolute position Zero and zero. I want it to take a hundred percent and a hundred percent. Let's give my hero wrapper relative position. Oh. And now we can have a div. And a row. Oh, a row. And then a call. And my image is taking two, four, six, seven. It's taking seven, uh, seven columns. It's taking it's taking the width of seven columns. And I want it to be justified. End. So I can add my class right there. 
And again, if it's not clear, we have a full video about the column system, so don't hesitate to go take a look at it. And it will, it will make more sense, I think. And one, one question I have is that I don't know if I should make this section 100 view H or if I should use REM because this thing is that the, the image is going to be pretty small if I'm using uh, VH, if I use VH, so I don't know. Why do I made a mistake right there? Okay, let's let's try this way and let's see if it's working. So here, image, wrapper, and then I have my image. image. Um, and it's an image, it's not a div. All right. So I want the width to be 100%. And I want the height. Uh, the thing is that I cannot use REM. If I use REM, we are gonna have to, we are going to have a problem. But let's try anyway. 724. 724. And let's justify it. Not do that. Let's give it. We have a padding top of 100 pixel. So. All right. Let's change the Z index of this and this. Yeah. So it's looking pretty good to me. Um, maybe the image is a bit too too tall, but yeah. So that that's what I'm talking about. And I think we should not be using uh, we should not be using um, REM to do that. Or maybe let's let's change the the max width of our of our element. Let's not use nine one thousand nine hundred and twenty pixel. Let's use something like like this because I don't it feels like it's getting too big and the the elements are um, it's not as uh, I don't want to say elegant but it's not as as nice and beautiful as it, it's uh, it should be so let's just take this and it's 163 and I can go back to my elements change the value oh. 163 and I can just copy this because it's it feels like it's everything is getting too big and I don't want that okay let's see mm, not too bad but Yeah, I don't want to use VH as as a way of, of doing. Uh, I, I don't like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the height of my image, which is, oh, by the way, that's maybe one of the issue we had. Um, so let's, uh, let's, Change that again. Yeah, it's working, but uh, I, uh, yeah, it's not working for me. So my image is a little bit more than the, the, the height of the image is a little bit more than 45 REM. So what I can do is something like something like that and like that and now yeah the hardware is not visible anymore anymore but that's okay because it's scaling nicely 
and it makes me it makes me want to scroll to see everything so yeah so that's the hero um it's been yeah a little bit more than 15 minutes so yeah i, I will cut here and i hope i'll see you in the in the next video